Good morning, guys. Welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. Today's episode is really, really cool. It's always cool to watch folks get emotional over cars, especially being surprised with them, and Daily Driven Exotics has outdone themselves with today's video, surprising their editor, Jamie, with a brand new Porsche Macan. And this is awesome, because I, I have a Porsche Macan Turbo. It's an amazing daily driver car, and they surprised surprised Jamie with this on film. It was one of the coolest things ever. We'll show you guys a couple of the clips, but make sure you go watch the entire video over at Daily Driven Exotics. What a cool thing. Like, this all sort of started with Daily Driven Exotics surprising Dave with the Audi R8 and then eventually the Lamborghini Gallardo. As Daily Driven Exotics gets bigger and bigger every single day, they're able to do more and more cool things for the people that work with them on all of their fun antics. Now, the cool thing is that Jamie is a big part of their success. Does absolutely absolutely phenomenal editing. If you've ever watched a Daily Driven Exotics video, you know how good the editing is. So Jamie is just as big a part of the team as anybody else on there because he's essential in providing the high level of quality that Daily Driven Exotics brings on a mostly daily basis. So make sure you guys go watch it. Uh, Jamie, the editor of Daily Driven Exotics, gets surprised with a Porsche Macan. He's never had a car like this. I think he had a Santa Fe beforehand. It's really cool. It's always inspirational. It's fun to see the car community doing amazing things for one another. So go check it out. Great video. Man, I don't know. It's always cool to watch people that have absolutely no idea get surprised with something that cool. And then like his reaction is just phenomenal. He literally like agrees. He's like, oh yeah, thanks. And he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what did you do? Did you actually bought me this car? Very, very cool. Go watch the video. Tell me what you think. Comment below. Now, before we stop talking about Daily Driven Exotics, know that we still have a couple crazy things happening very soon for them. We might be getting a hypercar announcement very, very soon. It could be any day now. There's a lot of moving pieces with that, I imagine. So make sure to stay tuned. We're gonna, as soon as we get the date of the reveal, we'll do a video telling you guys when and sort of where to where to tune in. So that's it for Daily Driven Exotics, guys. Well done, uh, Dave and Damon and the rest of the crew. You guys did a very cool thing today. And in other news, Royalty Lifestyle had Edmund Mondi back on. They got a little bit crazy with some super bikes, some Ducati action, if you guys care about that sort of thing. We don't always talk about supercars here. Every once in a while we try to mention some other avenues of the automobile and motorcycle world. Royalty Lifestyle puts out a great product. If you guys aren't following them, make sure to go check out their latest video and see if you like it. Now, if you guys enjoy rebuild channels, make sure that you check out both B is for Build and Goon Squad. Both channels are currently doing rebuilds on wrecked Lamborghini Lamborghini Huracans. I guess that's the car to go to these days. Very, very cool rebuild. They're both at sort of different stages of the rebuild process. Bees for Build just got at a bunch of their auction parts. They're starting to put together the exterior of the car again. Goon Squad is just trying to get a good start off in their fourth video in their series of rebuilding the Huracan. Uh, both have different personalities. Both are slightly different in how they go about filming their videos, but both are really fun if you enjoy seeing something that's completely wrecked, like a Lamborghini Huracan, other exotics, and turn back into something very useful. Usable. So both of those links are in the description if you want to check them out. And as if there wasn't enough rebuild process stuff with those guys, uh, let's talk about TJ Hunt and his Ferrari 458 Italia rebuild, which has been my personal favorite so far to watch. I, I guess I just have like a special place in my heart, part this side, left side, <laughs> a special place in my heart because I almost bought a Ferrari 458 before I settled on getting the McLaren 570S. We're at very high altitude up here in Colorado Springs, so it made more sense to get something that would and suffer quite as much being naturally aspirated. But anyway, so TJ Hunt recently took off the stock exhaust a couple days ago of his Ferrari 458 sort of rebuild wrecked auctioned car. And basically he decided that he wanted to put on a straight pipe exhaust system and it's just out of this world. The car by itself, stock, sounds so good when you put a straight pipe system on a Ferrari 458, regardless of the version, you're gonna get some absolutely insane sounds. It almost makes me wanna go out and buy one myself, but man, like you just go, go check out the channel. It's absolutely sick what they're doing with that Ferrari 458, and the straight pipes just sound superb. And if you couldn't get enough of the Lexus LFA, Vehicle Virgins actually has a second video out about 
about it. It's sort of like a different sort of review than his first one, a less POV driving. Kind of an interesting video. So if you want to see more of the LFA action with great cinematography and sort of a breakdown of what it's like to drive that car, make sure to head over to Vehicle Virgin's channel, check out the latest video. And I guess we're still waiting to see if the delivery that he's going to be taking is going to be that Ferrari 812 super fast that he talked about in previous videos. We'll have to wait and see. No real mention of it so far, but make sure to go watch the Lexus LFA, the second video in his series. And if you guys enjoy Hoovy's Garage, I think you'll really appreciate the video he just uploaded about an hour ago, which talks about his bad influence on his friends in terms of themselves sort of buying cars that need a lot of work on it, sort of in the style of Tavares or, you know, Hoovy's Garage himself. Go check it out. He sort of chronicles a number of his friends that are in the area that have sort of bought cars that need a lot of work and are trying to like kind of follow in the footsteps of what Tyler Hoovy is doing. So make sure to go check it out. It's kind of funny. You'll, you'll get introduced to a lot of sort of new YouTubers that you didn't really know, like watch JR Go, smaller YouTuber, but doing really cool work and sort of hitting some areas of this sort of rebuild and like Tavarish area that haven't really been hit yet, talking about tractors and stuff. So make sure to go check out his latest video if you want to see some of his friends and what they're also doing to sort of follow in the footsteps of Hoovy's Garage. And finally today, guys, I want to talk about a smaller channel that maybe you've missed, but you should definitely check out. Uh, it's Summit Life. So Summit Life is actually Summit Auto Lab, which is the place that you've probably seen Stradman go in a number of his videos, getting his car wrapped, doing all sorts of fun detailing work. Uh, Clayton is the guy that runs Summit Auto Lab and has a pretty cool channel going on adventures with James and sort of doing automotive YouTube from the perspective of someone who actually wraps and details cars. So if you're interested in sort of seeing what that looks like from the perspective of an automotive YouTuber, I would tell you to go check out Summit Life and see if you enjoy the content. I certainly do. I've met Clayton in person. Very cool guy, very down to earth and very knowledgeable about what he talks about on his channel. Well, that is going to do it for today. Kind of a jam packed episode today with all the crazy stuff from DDE and Hoovy's Garage and just like everybody has very interesting and unique content coming out right now. Make sure to stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of other fun stories this week. I think it's going to be a pretty phenomenal time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy supercar community news from the perspective of someone who tries to gather it up as much as I can, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We just hit 75,000 subscriptions. We're trying to get to 100,000 before summer. We'll see if we can do it. But I think with your guys' help, we can make it. So thank you so much for all of your support. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Bye.